Okay. Hello. So, for my independent project, I chose to deal with 2D animation in Adobe Animate CC 2019, and I learned the tools that I offered and just simple ana how to animate and what goes on behind the scenes. So, the first thing is to find tutorials, very good ones that deal with new terminology and just how to run the application well. And one of them I found was a 2018 version, which I'll put all of these in the description below, so you can find them there. And the 2018 version um, dealt a lot with the terminology that you will be using, and it is very nice even though it is a 2018 version, not a 2019 version, it still can cross over. And then another one is the Adobe Animate um, page which is a very nice source and it explains some of the tools offered and then the last one is a 2019 version which it is a 2019 version which deals with the newly updated things and what it can offer and it's very detailed so it works very well so there's two ways you can animate and um, the first one is frame by frame. It's where you draw one object and then move it a little bit and then move it a little bit and you keep doing that until it makes a motion that you want. So you have to do it kind of manually. Or the second version is called tweening. And this is pretty much just computer generated motion. So you draw something at like point A and then you draw something at point B and then in the middle you um, create a tween and you let the computer guess of what goes in between those two points and frame by frame um, it's very great when you have um, complex actions where the computer won't really understand of what you want and won't guess it so you have to use frame by frame but tweening is great and a time saver for simple actions so you don't have to draw like each frame out so that's very nice so when I could use a tween I would and then also another thing you should get very used to is your type of frames which can be seen in your timeline which I'll talk about a little later so the type of frames you just have normal frames um, which are defined um, by it's a repeat of the frame before so nothing changes and is represented by a hollow hollowed out box and the next one is a keyframe which indicates that something has changed and it is represented by a circle that is filled in and a blank frame literally just means blank there's nothing inside okay so one of the first things that you need to set and understand before creating your animation is frames per second this is um, how many frames make up one second of product so 24 frames per second is your default setting and it's a very good setting but also you do have to make 24 frames per second so if you don't really want to make that many you just have to cut it in half or just lower it and 12 frames per second is actually a really good speed and is what I used for my final animation and I really liked it mainly because I didn't have to make 24 frames per second so yeah you have to think about um, time when you create an animation because sometimes even if you do like want to make 24 frames per second to make it smooth um, you might not have the time for it so you're gonna have to cut it down and be sure to be aware so timeline this is where you organize everything 
and all of your objects within your animation and um, this is where all your layers will be and all your layers it's good to layer everything because then you can go back and easily know what is what on each um, layer section and so also it's good to um, separate as much as you can so then it's just easier so then you don't have to deal with everything at once you can deal with um, things one by one so that's very helpful and this is where you can um, see when things come in when things cut off and yeah it's important to know um, the timeline very well because it makes animating very easy if you know the basics of a timeline okay so one thing that I learned in this project is that you need to plan out what you do before um, jumping ahead to do it because just running ahead to do something is not a good thing to do in Adobe Animate and planning out the action that you want is very good and maybe even acting it out yourself so you know how to get how something gets from point A to point B so that's very helpful and then also double checking is not bad so like multiple times I've I would notice that I wasn't on the right um, frame or layer so then I was messing with something I didn't want to mess with and then it caused problems and then I had to go back and fix my mistakes so yeah double checking will save you time and frustration <laughs> so also after um, watching all your tutorials and um, knowing mentally about kind of what's going on playing around is actually a really good thing before jumping into a very complex animation so just kind of play around with it a little get comfortable with it and then start making something more um, complex so the first animation I made was just a simple um, ball bouncing or floating in the air yeah it's very short but yeah and then and then after that I got a little bit more detailed in it um, and this is the second animation that I made Okay. then for my final animation um, it's a four second product and I based it off of just a superhuman and this was my final thing and that's it I hope you enjoyed and maybe learned something from this so bye